And tonight, we'll be joined by senior librarian Gracie Lee, who will talk about the publisher, printer, and purveyor of Malayan books, Kelly and Walsh. She works with the Rare Materials Collection, and her area of interest are in Singapore's publishing history and the Japanese occupation. So without wasting any more time, may I invite Gracie Lee. Kelly Watch was actually one of the longest running bookstores in Singapore. It started in the 1880s and it closed in 1956. It was literally a landmark in Raffles Square or later on renamed Raffles Place. And it was also a major publisher of Malayan works. You can see here, this is Kelly & Co. It was uh, mainly a bookseller. And then there is Walsh & Co. which was uh, specialising in printing. And then they joined and from Kelly and Walsh, uh, taking on both printing, book selling. So besides selling books, they also were, they functioned like a town's ticketing agent, sort of like our cystic today. Uh, they sold music, theatrical performances, dances, balls, flower, animal shows. As part of his business as a stationer, Kelly and Walsh actually was known for his annual display of Christmas and New Year greeting cards. So it was a tradition that shoppers would look forward to. But what was most popular was what they call the best-selling local series because these were designed locally in-house by Kelly and Walsh. So you have Malay Kampong or you have pictures of uh, Battery Road, Collier Key, that kind of thing. And on the cards you will have in Malay, Selamat Tahun Baru, like Happy New Year. And the residents here would buy these and send them overseas. 